doing artist interviews. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell us a little, little bit about you. Hey, what's up, Jam the Hype? I'm Ruby Sky. <laughs> nice. And Ruby, where are you out of? Uh, I'm from Denver. Denver, yeah. Colorado. <laughs> Colorado. And did you perform yet? I, yep, I performed last night, uh, performed songs off of my new album coming out this summer. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, coming out this summer? <laughs> yeah. Now, what happened today, though? Something kind of got released today? Was there a track that yeah, got released today? Yeah, real exciting. Okay. Um, one of the songs that's featured on the album yeah. called Beast Mode, um, we released um, the video for that. Oh, so, dope. Uh, yeah, we did it out in Denver. It was r real exciting. Yeah, so, so yeah. full-on music video for Beast Mode. Yep. <laughs> when I look at you, I think Beast Mode, dude. I mean, I'm like, dang, Beast Mode for Ruby. Really? <laughs> no, maybe not. But I'm sure okay. the video is going to translate. You're way too nice for Beast Mode. But oh. what, what's the song about? Um, you know, it's just about finding um, your personal ministry ah. um, and really going at it fiercely, like finding nice. what unique path God has put you on. Nice. Um, that goes beyond kind of like, that goes beyond occupation. Ah. Um, it's more about the culmination of... Um, gosh, like your story and your yeah. pain and um, where you were raised, just the culmination of all those things to create like yeah. your own personal ministry. Sure. So, yeah, no, that's going dope. fiercely out, 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 or towards that. So, yeah. 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 Oh, no, that's a great, no, that's awesome, man. <laughs> With the song Beast Mode, you, know, you can't tell, but that's a, man, that's that's intriguing yeah. for sure. Yeah. We'll have to check that out. Um <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the album is coming out, yeah. And you, I know you got a team, yeah. Along with uh, I don't know who's all in the mix besides Mark. Is there you? Is there some people you want to shout out from the team that have helped you create the album, produce yeah. the album? Go ahead. So my producer Mario actually okay, is Mario. who you're thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah Mario yeah. Romero, uh, main producer on that. I've been working with him since I was, gosh, seventeen. So we've been cool. we've been working at it for a long time. But yeah, he's he's awesome. He knows. Yeah. He still has an ear for it. I, I make fun of him all the time because he's he's a little old. <laughs> Sorry, Mario. <laughs> Sorry, Mario. <laughs> but he still has the ear. Like, he still knows. Is what, he taking uh, a nap right now? Because it's later in the afternoon. He's probably he's taking a nap. He's stuck in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's stuck in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all of We're really kidding. dissing him now. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mario. We, no, he's awesome. He's cool. Yeah. Okay, so he's making his way back. He's yeah. here at the conference. So cool. So he uh, he's a big proponent, component yeah, to. totally. That's yep, cool. Yep, yep. And then is there like a label along with it? Not like it matters, um, but uh, no, 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 no label right, right now. Yeah, yeah we're kind of just um, it's so homegrown. Is yeah, this, yeah, I mean, he, 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 I'm a part of Push Management, so it's okay. a management company. That's but, cool. Um, no label right now. That's so, awesome. Yeah. So Push Management. <laughs> um, how about influences? We can kind of go back. What's some um, early, er, early, early influences music-wise? Maybe like first memories of music, yeah, or just yeah. early artists that you remember listening to. Um, I would definitely say Prince. My mom was a big fan of Prince, which Ooh. was like that was rough about a me. month ago. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I would, like had to recover for a whole week, like yeah. just like thinking about um, the inspiration that he sure. was to me when I was a kid. Um, yeah. and then Selena. I mean, okay. I think every Latina girl <laughs> there's some Selena in the was mix, right? Yeah, was inspired by her. Sure. Um, and then you know, Tupac, Biggie. Okay. Gwen Stefani. So there's just, some hip hop in the yeah, mix. Yeah, totally, totally. My mom listened to lots of different music, so I got um, so many different styles. Sure. When I was growing up. So yeah. 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 That's a pretty cool mix. Yeah. So some kind of rugged <laughs> and rough street stuff. Oh, yeah. Even Gwen Stefani, she's pretty hardcore yeah. herself. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Um, so the album's coming out. Yep. Anything besides that, like after the album, or just kind of see how it does? Try to just get as many people to listen to it as possible. Yeah. Or? You know, we really. With this album, um, this is like just such a special um, thing to put out because um, my album's called Misunderstood, okay. um, and it's really about um, the scripture, First Corinthians chapter or First Corinthians one twenty seven, mm. um, and it says God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. wise yeah. And um, what that means to me is that God chose the people that nobody thought would do something great yeah and god chose the people that um to everybody else were screw-ups and yeah. you know just could never do any could never d succeed or do anything great and but that's who god chooses yeah and he chooses them f to show his power for sure and so um it's just like a little you know story storytelling of my journey as a nice. misunderstood person yeah and i'm hoping that um other people who have felt misunderstood in and out of the church can relate sure. to it. So, would you say, as a female artist, that when you when you think about who's going to listen to your album, you're like, gosh, I really want a lot of teenage girls. I really want. Wh what do you think when you think I want this person to hear my album? Who do you think that is? Who comes to mind first? I mean, I, I would say just that people yeah. who feel misunderstood, people cool. who don't fit um, the traditional. 
Christian mold. Sure. Um, people who think out of the box. Um, yeah. I think like very creative people, eclectic nice. people. Nice. Um, yeah, just like doing their own little thing. Rebels, nonconformists. Like that's just that's yeah. my heart right there. Yeah, yeah. So, um, that must have been how you came up. Yes. I mean, yeah, that's what you're relating to. <laughs> totally. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I always felt I always felt like that. Um, just growing up. Yeah. I was always a kid getting in trouble. Um, but behind the walls was just like a heart that just really desired to feel misunderstood. Um, yeah. And so, yeah. So, yeah, I really relate to, awesome. to those kind of people. So. The album sounds pretty powerful. <laughs> I mean, you. yeah, it sounds like it can really touch some people. That, that's you. awesome. You know, yeah. why not plan for it to uh, affect as many people yeah. as possible? So that's yeah. cool. Okay. So what's the best place to try and, and, and listen to the singles? Website, anything like that that you yeah. want to pump up right now? Let's yeah, do it. Yeah, so um, Beast Mode is on iTunes right now. Nice. And then um, you can also just follow me on Instagram and Twitter, uh, Ruby Sky Music. Nice. Um, Ruby with a Y. Yeah. No? R- yep. Ruby with a Y. R U B Y Sky with two Y's. Uh, and then music. So. Yeah, yeah. we got to get that spelling right. R U B Y S K Y Y Music, music. Yep. for Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. And I keep Twitter. everybody updated there on any new stuff. For sure. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Ruby. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks for Thank doing the interview you. with us. Thanks yeah. So much. Have a great time at the All conference. Right. Bye.